Hey guys, good morning. So we're down at the splash pad and I wanted to give you a one month growth update on the containers that we planted up. Um, and they're doing so fantastic. They've all filled in, they've all got a ton of color. And the funny thing is, is that we have done zero to these containers since the first day that we planted them. And that's kind of one of the things that I didn't mention in the first video. These containers, which are from Earth Planter, they're called the Urban Vase 31. They hold 18 gallons of water. I didn't mention that before. Um, but they also start wicking from the first day. Um, so like other self-watering containers that I'm familiar with, you do have to top water your plants more than once um, until they kind of get rooted in and can kind of start drawing up water. These, you fill them up with your flowers, you fill up the reservoir, and you top water them one time just to settle in their root balls, and then they immediately start wicking up moisture. Um, so after that first day when we got them planted and watered in, we haven't been back to do any sort of maintenance. So I am just thrilled with how they're doing, and I just want to go through each one of these containers really quick and show you guys all the flowers, kind of talk about them because we used a lot of my favorites in these arrangements. So like in this one right here in the center, I've got a skyrocket penicetum, which, you know, our grasses have been a little bit slower to kind of boom this year because we've had a really abnormally cool spring and early summer and they really thrive on heat. Um, so anyway, they're just starting now. I can see that they're putting on a little more growth. We've got Supertunia bubblegum here, Supertunia royal magenta, Vista Silverberry kind of popping in throughout, and then Super Tunia Bordeaux. And of course I love this mix because it's all pink and purple and that's some of my faves. So let's just start around this direction. This next one is beautiful. I love the warm colors that we added in. There's a purple fountain grass right here in the center. We've got Super Tunia Honey and I think this is so pretty. We've driven by multiple times and I can see this one, it just shows up so well. We've got Super Bina Large Lilac Blue. Super Tunia Royal Velvet, and then the Badana, Bandana Lemon Zest Lantana right there, which is just a nice pop of bright yellow. So this one is just, it's doing really great. Next one's this way. So this one, we've got a canna as a centerpiece, and I thought this would be kind of a fun, different centerpiece uh, as, as an alternative to a grass. This one's called Toucan Yellow, and I'm not seeing any blooms yet, but we're probably getting really close. Mine at home just started to bloom. We've got Super Tunia White Charm, which is a little bit different than just Super Tunia White in that it has a little bit of a smaller flower, but the bloom count is just incredible. I mean, look at this. It's just amazing. There's also Super Bell's Lemon Slice right in here. And they're just, you know, they're doing great. They've got lots of blooms. They're just not quite as vigorous as our Super Tunias. And this is a Sweet Caroline Red Sweet Potato Vine, which brings a little bit of depth to the arrangement. This one is getting exciting. This is a Toucan Scarlet Canna. It's got a bloom spike right there. Looks like there's another bloom spike in here. So I used three cannas in each one of these arrangements. And I really like the kind of bulk that it adds to the center. I've got the Superbina um, Scarlet Star, which really shows up well, especially when you pair it with that Super Tunia Royal Velvet. Just a beautiful contrast. We've also got a Lady Godiva uh, Orange Calendula. This is one of the ones I wintered over my greenhouse this last year, so I'm really proud of how it's doing. It's beautiful. And this one, we've got a Purple Fountain Grass again, Super Tunia uh, Vista Bubblegum, Super Bina Large Lilac Blue. I love how this one is kind of, all the flowers are like incorporating really well with each other. Uh, and then there's a Vista Silverberry Super Tunia in there as well. And this is just a stellar mix. If you want a Super Bina that's really gonna keep up with the vigor of a Vista Super Tunia, the Super Bina Large Lilac Blue has proven itself over and over again, in my experience anyway. So this one here, another purple fountain grass. We have a Sweet Caroline Bewitched Light Green Sweet Potato Vine for a nice foliage accent. Super Tunia Lovey Dovey. And we chose this one right in the entry of the splash pad on purpose because it's just so unique. I love the way that looks. Super Tunia Royal Magenta. And then Vista Silverberry, which is kind of like creating this huge mound back here. So this one right here has three dahlias as a centerpiece. And I just went through on the Dahlia centerpiece containers and just popped off all the spent bloom heads, which you don't have to do in order for them to keep blooming. They will just keep on blooming. I mean, there are buds all over this thing, but aesthetically, I kind of like the way it looks when it's cleaned up, but you can see how gorgeous the flowers are. I mean, look at these. Just beautiful, especially Super Tunia Bordeaux. There's Super Bells Yellow. There's an Angel Face Cascade Blue Angelonia back in here. And then on this side, I've got 
a lobularia. This is called Dark Knight Sweet Alyssum. And then a Sweet Caroline Bewitched, Bewitched Green with Envy. Boy, it's hard to remember all the names. But I think this is a real pleasing blend. So this next one I really like because this is a Prince Tut grass and I just think it looks like it belongs at a splash pad. It looks like a water plant. I think it is actually. It likes boggy soil, does really well in wet conditions. Um, but around it, we've got Supertunia White Charm. We've got Supertunia Royal Magenta, Sweet Caroline Light Green, Sweet Potato Vine that's putting on a lot of growth. Look at that already. And then there's the Luscious Berry Blend Lantana in here. And I love that with the Royal Magenta. I think that's so pretty. Um, and I think that that kind of does it for this blend. It's really pleasing. So this one, and you will notice that we did repeat quite a number of the varieties of plants. We wanted them to be all different, but all cohesive in a way. So this one has three of the crushed crimson dahlias as a centerpiece. And look at the beautiful foliage. I didn't mention that on that one over there because this one's in the sun. So you can really tell that contrast is beautiful. Now I did notice that we are dealing with a little bit of an aphid problem. You can see them right here. So we're gonna have to come back with um, some spray and take care of that. I'll probably just use um, our Rose RX, something or a neem based spray um, down here. And that usually takes care of them really quickly. But that's the only container I noticed any kind of bug issue. I didn't notice any aphids on the other dahlia. We'll probably treat both of them though, just to be safe. But we've got the Sweet Caroline Light Green Sweet Potato Vine, which the contrast is beautiful. Super Tunia Royal Magenta, not Royal Magenta, Super Tunia Royal Velvet. Super Tunia White Charm. Look at right here. This one looks really good. This is a bandana lemon zest lantana, which I think looks particularly great with the dahlia. And then a Scarlet Star Super Bima. One more container. And so this is the last container. So there was 10 all together and we've got three Toucan Scarlet Cannas again. Look at this, you guys. We've got blooms over here. Look at how gorgeous. I mean, they're red, but they show up really, really well. Um, we've got Sweet Caroline Bewitched Green with Envy, Sweet Potato Vine, Super Tunia Royal Velvet, Scarlet Star, Super Bina, another one of the Lady Godiva Orange Calendulas, and a Super Bina Large Lilac Blue, which I actually remember I had this one plant left over at the very end, and so I just popped it in that side, and I think it looks really pretty. So I am super impressed with how everything's doing down here. I mean, given the fact that we haven't had to do anything yet since that initial day of planting, it was pretty amazing. And you know, the plants I knew, I have experience with a lot of these plants. They're super high performers. So I knew that those would do really well, but the containers which Earth Planter donated for this project, they were untested. They're something that I had never used before. And I let you guys know that in the initial video. So it was something that we were gonna keep our eyes on and just kind of see how they did. And so far, really, really great. We used Espoma Organic Pot soil which is a soilless mixture in the containers so far they're work it's working great I mean it's wicking moisture perfectly apparently um, because the plants look so great and I did add in a slow release fertilizer like I normally do uh, with all my annual containers which usually lasts several weeks six to eight weeks uh, and so I think that that's what's been keeping the plants looking really great. So we haven't even fertilized with our water soluble fertilizer yet, um, but it's something I usually like to do every single week. We just can't figure out how to get our fertilizer tank close enough um, to these containers. So I think what we're gonna do is just water them traditionally, or fertilize them traditionally, mix it up in a watering can and do it overhead until we can figure out a way um, to efficiently get our hose and tank close enough to get all of the reservoirs filled up because apparently you can add that fertilizer once it's, um, dissolved in liquid into the self-watering reservoir and then the plants will just wick it up like normally. So you kind of skip that extra step. So we'll just have to see as we go along and we hope to give you at least maybe monthly or every month, uh, every other month updates as the season goes on so you guys can see how these are doing. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we will see you in the next one. Bye.